So guys, welcome to this video. We are going to be trading the Iron FX's World Championship $1 million prize pool. It's one of the last rounds that you can get involved on a $500 deposit. So I'm gonna deposit $500 today. I'm gonna to risk it all on a few trades, see how I can perform. I'm um, weighing up, put it on a couple of indices and seeing how they return. The last round, I think it was around 400% was the winner. So I've only kind of got to hit a hit of three to one or four to one. Worst case scenario, I lose $500. Best case scenario, I come first and I win 10 grand in this round and then progress on to the next challenge round. So wish me luck guys. Don't forget to thumbs up, comment and subscribe. So we're about to go and open up our trade now in the Tantalum World um, trading competition on INFX. I saw in the last competition, it was around, uh, in the last round, it was something like 380 or 400% uh, needed to win. So um, I'm gonna put all of my uh, eggs in one basket. I don't advise doing this in actual trading. This is a competition and I'm trying to win the round and I wanna do it sort of in one trade. So I'm gonna be placing my trade here on the US 100 cash on um, INFX. Uh, which is heavily weighted towards tech. I've got an allowance, so to speak, of roughly three, um, three lots that I can take on this, um, on this trade. I'm actually gonna enter in two now, just in case it does go up on the open, and then one if it comes down to the previous lows. Um, so that's pretty much my game plan. It's, it's risky, but it will end up returning in hopefully a three to four to one and we'll see where we sort of fare out from there. So wish me luck. I'm gonna open the trade now. I can't accept the terms and conditions to one click trading. Telling you, you can see the proof is my first trade on here. So here we go. There we go, we've opened the trade there. And we are down three pound 85 at the moment. There we go. So I've got $400 risk of my $500 on this trade. And I'm gonna be targeting all the way up here, which is the previous high, which is sat at a PL profit there. If I get that trade to come in, it's around 1,100 US dollars. So that would be putting us up roughly 200% on the account, which would be lovely. And then do you know what? If it comes down and tests these previous lows, I'm actually just gonna put a, um, a buy limit order on of my, my one lot trade as well down at the previous lows here and we'll put that on as well and we'll see how that goes it's going to be a make or break trade for us in this competition um, but wish me luck and guys if you want to get involved with the trading competition with iron fx i suggest that you place fewer trades over the rounds that you've got but you have to pick your trades right because you want to be in the top five to be in order for a cash prize and then move into the big rounds and move into the semi-finals and potentially finals where there's over 500k cash prize. So uh, wish me luck. Just giving an update of exactly where we are at right now. You can see just here, um, we're down at the moment, we're down $50. We're looking actually on the one minute chart, just so I can show you the moves of how it's moved. So I entered in over here, came down, came back up to break even, it's come back down again. Again, we are pre-market, so we've got a lot of time yet until the market actually comes through and opens. So as of now, we're down $50. Um, we've had a couple of bounces, again, previously talking about this on the hourly, bouncing off of these levels. And this is the level that I'm predicting that is going to hold for this trade and hopefully move to the upside. I'll keep you updated and we'll be able to see exactly how the NASDAQ is going to move. So just got to the office, it's absolutely tipping it down outside, hence the attire. But um, checked on the uh, INFX trade and uh, it is a loss. So the NAS didn't do me good, didn't hold the previous low and it carried on selling off. Minus 400, there is 96 US dollars in the account. So I'm gonna try and place one more trade today whilst I'm in London, um, getting an MRI on my foot. 
because it means an operation, I believe. So, all fun and games, I'll keep you updated in this vlog, guys. So you can see my trade there, minus 402 on the daily. You can see here that, um, let me zoom in. You can see that it didn't respect its uh, previous low over here and it has taken that out now. And that's where I was expecting the bounce to the upside. So it didn't pan out for me. Um, gonna try and put a trade together now for this $100 and I'll see how that goes and try to get back to the 500 and then back on up again. Let's find out how we get on. Okay, so just rounding up exactly what's happened. That's me out of this round on the INFX trading competition. I tried to risk it all over one to two trades, which is something that I do not advise doing, but you can enter the rounds multiple times. Um, so there is no fears there if you do um, you know, wipe an account out, obviously you are losing money. So you have to be careful. For me, I really wanted to get up to the top with some of the guys up here and they're up 600% um, in position one and position 10's up 152%. So um, of which most of them are from China. So um, there's a lot of uh, mathematicians out there that are smashing the markets and doing really, really well. Um, so my trade running through now is I expected the tech to potentially bounce to the upside um, and it didn't do that. It has actually broken down through uh, the previous low, which I sort of didn't expect it to do. It hasn't done that for a long time. Um, so I was expecting it to continue naturally to the upside um, and it didn't. Um, I was there, that was $400 of the $500 trade. I then decided to um, go short on pound against the US dollar with the remaining 100 to hopefully, uh, you know, get a chance to get back into, um, uh, back to break even, I suppose. And that also turned around against me today, even though it's been aggressively selling off for quite some time, just today happened to be the turnaround time. So we lost that trade. So. This, I can officially say, is my first time I have blown an account. But the great part about this is there's still two weeks left of the competition. So I'm probably going to look to deposit another $500 and do a similar strategy, maybe over a couple of the trades equally weighted, 250 to 250, depending on how the leaderboards goes, which is live updated every hour. So I'll see how I get on and whether or not I'm going to be going in for another chance on this round four. Guys, if you're enjoying this content of what I'm going through and you want to get involved in the INFX, an alert target has been reached. Maybe I'm back in the markets. One of my targets has been reached there on my equity trades. So um, I'll be reviewing that probably in the next vlog. Um, but yeah, if you want to get involved in the INFX competition, click the link in the description and I wish you the best of luck and message me on Instagram. Let me know how you got on whether or not you did better than me, which isn't hard. Do not risk it all over a couple of trades. Try to do it over a few more and get up there with the winners. I wish you the best of luck. Don't forget to thumbs up, comment and subscribe.